Hey everybody, my name is Alden. I'm Drew. And Accolade presents... Oh Aww, yeah. Bubsy oh, and Claws Encounters of the Third Kind. Possibly go wrong? Everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm excited! Oh man, like, this is another one of those games. This is a game that I had. I had it for the Sega tapes as a kid. And like I loved it, and there's another one that like when we came back to it, like I'm just like, ooh, oh, um, this, is, this is terrible. Real, real quick. Yeah. Nothing's happening. Uh, what? Let me, give me, give me a sec. Give me a sec. Let me make sure my controller's. I was just playing cool spot. All right, hang on. All right, one, one sec. Run. Right. Uh huh. <laughs> Maybe start. Uh huh. I'm pressing every single button I can possibly press. Well, um, to the Genesis! <laughs> All right, this has been Bubsy on the SNES. Be right back, viewers. <laughs> hey, everybody! Hey! All right, we're back. We found out what could have gone wrong, and well, it was just about everything. <laughs> That's pretty much. Uh. Oh, do right. you have a control over how high you jump? If I hit the jump button, when I get to the bottom, I can jump higher. I saw him doing like a gliding- okay. Okay. Oh, there we go, that's why. Alright. I can glide. I need to remember everything about this game. Woo! For some reason a cat can like glide, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> I like, the, I like the little fight Im fight animation that you get whenever you jump yeah. on somebody. Yeah, it's good. Arr! What? What? You just <laughs> one hit? You just die. What? You just straight up wow. die. Wow. Is it yet another right. game where your progress is saved? Yeah. Oh, that's that's handy. If I just hit the glide button, I can, uh... You do a little hop into your glide. Or you can just hit the hop button. Alright, what else am I? Anything? No. Alright. This is, this is the only controls. What the heck is that much. thing? What are those things? Those are balls of yarn. No, no, the things that you're killing. Oh, they're like like rabbit things. I don't know. Alien rabbits. Whoa! Oh. Oh, well, I missed something. Because <laughs> I, I slipped on a banana peel. These balls of yarn change colors. <laughs> this is outrageous. This is so epic. <laughs> ah, no. Oh. All right, we're back. We're good. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, this, this game looks like a fever dream. <laughs> it was somebody's for sure. Whoa! Oh, whoa. whoa! Yeah, everything. Like apparently. <laughs> <I'm> gonna... <laughs> oh man. I don't know. Don't hit that. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, yeah! Hit him! Okay, so there's like a completely optional way you can go. Not to the. Yeah, that's just like a little alien dude. I'm pretty sure that's probably the story. There's aliens, and you got your Bubsy, and you gotta stop them. <laughs> you have to be. Bada bing, bada boom! <laughs> there's aliens, and you have to be Bubsy. Dang it! <laughs> Woo! Ah! <laughs> I like the fun. I like the funny ways that he dies. Yeah, it's good. It's, uh. It gets me through the many, many deaths. <laughs> I, don't know, I guess it's not that uncommon for, like, one-hit death. Cause, well, I mean, Mario's got the mushroom mechanic, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm sure... Th there has to be some, like, sort of power. Oh, boy. What even, what even just happened there? I, I had some sort of... Whoa! Whoa! I have some basic control over how fast I go. I could, like, accelerate or decelerate, but... I was just kind of going down that slide. That was crazy. Huh. This game, like, took the Sonic concept of, like, let's put in a bunch of stuff that's, like, crazy and fast and out of the player's control and just, like, really kind of went to town with it. <laughs> oh. Oh, you take fall damage. Yeah, if you... I feel like... If he does his little whoa animation, then you're gonna take fall damage unless you land on, like, one of the- I don't know. Whoa! Oh my 
my god! Oh my oh, god! That would mess with me. <laughs> that was. Uh. So. I'm. I have a suspicion as to why they did that. <laughs> and, um. I believe Sega. Or, yeah, has a patent. Or had, at the time at least, a patent on how to render characters going through a Mobius strip for Sonic 2. Mm -hmm. So. They would have. They had to figure out some other way to render to like have the character go through a Mobius strip. Oh, you mean? And they decided to have the camera flip upside down instead of doing the character. You mean the th the third party, um, the developer? Yeah, the developer, because this was not like developed by Sega. Gotcha. All right, that was the first level, dude. Like. <laughs> 346 <laughs> yarn balls. Yeah, that's a lot of yarn balls, man. Dude, like... There, there, there's certain things, like, in this... Uh-huh. There, there's just certain things in, in this game, like, that they're doing right, but then there's a lot of things that they're doing wrong. Like, from a, from a sound design perspective, every time you hit a guy... You have this like really like cool, uh, and again, I'm I'm talking specifically from the uh, Genesis version because we can't for the SNES. Version. <laughs> we tried it in the SNES version, <laughs> but uh, but like whenever you hit something, it goes like doo, and like Doom. it's really sad. It's like a really satisfying sound. Like hit that guy, watch. Uh huh. Uh. Doom. Doom. You know, yeah. It's got that like really satisfying sound where you can like really tell it. You're like you can really tell when you're hitting the guy. Yeah. And it's like, the it's only... like encouraging too. Like that's that's a really good. Yeah, I like that. The only the only down thing I will say about that, I wish it happened when I actually hit him and not half a second later. Oh. <laughs> if you if you listen. Oh yeah. See. It, for some reason it happens. Oh. A little bit later and oh it happened... whoa oh ooh oh. It happens when he explodes. Like when the poof. Yeah, when, when he's done exploding. When the poof happens. But I feel like yeah, I don't know. I'll grab that. Um. All right. Physics in this game. Can I get up? Yeah. Whoa. Was that a a piano? Just kind of. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you ran into a piano and then it like rolled you down the hill. And you died. <laughs> These guys don't really do much besides just stand there and blow on you, huh? Yeah. Whoa, that was wiggy. Oh, nice, uh, nice parallax and background though. Yeah, everything's mad colorful here. Yeah, it is. Can I... What am I? What am I supposed to do? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Oh, that guy's jumping! Now they're throwing in jumping guys at oh, you. Oh man. Oh, I don't think I can handle this anymore. <laughs> I wonder when the uh, this got real. I wonder when the difficulty is gonna ramp up. Uh, I don't know. It's been. I I wouldn't say it's too hard, but it's been a little, little awkward at times. Mm. The all the stuff with like the water flumes and stuff. It's uh very harrowing <laughs> yeah but it's usually it usually ends fine it's just the process of it you don't really have a whole lot of control over what's going down hey look at this it's over here so <laughs> going back to again uh, it, i'm assuming that we're putting this out after we put out gex but yeah. going back to his like quips uh -huh. and one-liners and stuff like that bubsy has one per like intro cut which is fine. Yeah. That is an acceptable amount of one-liners. <laughs> that is an acceptable number of quips. Yeah. Oh. Alright. I don't know if this is going to be bad. Yep, he's a cat. He don't like water. More like a bridge too short. Yeah. See? <laughs> See? It's yeah. clever. It's clever. Good job, yeah. Bubsy. So one thing that about the controls that's like... That I'm noticing is oh really hard to deal with is the fact that um, you're you're turning in the air and I, in general 
there's a lot of... He's really slippery. Oh, boy. And, like, there's a lot of acceleration to his movement. Oh, come mm. on. <laughs> it's... It goes back to, like, there's... I So I, when I was working on a, um, a platformer a while ago, I did a lot of research into, like, the different ways of doing platformer controls and, like, different games that do it well, and there's, like, a couple different philosophies that you can use, more or less. Mm -hmm. One of them is, like, the... So it's pretty much, like, at either extreme, there's, like, Mega Man, and then there's Mario and Sonic. And the biggest difference between them is the concept of acceleration. So, like, in Mario, you've got your run button, and you notice Mario doesn't start and stop on the dime. He, like, he gets to get going a little bit before he can run, yeah. and then you get, like, higher jumps while you're running and stuff. Uh, Mega Man... There's no running, there's no acceleration, there's no momentum. You're just either going it's, or stopping. Yeah, you're going or stopping. When you hit the button, you know exactly how far you're going to go, and you know you can turn in the air on a dime. It's very pinpoint precision controls. And you need that for the types of uh, like puzzles and platforming that they throw at you. Mm -hmm. There's Mario is very slidey. Same with Sonic. There's a lot of acceleration and like force and physics behind everything. So there's just like, and it really, there's not, that's not to say that one is inherently better than the other, like, not saying that Mega Man is a better platformer because the controls are more precise, it's just that it really depends on the feel of the game you're going for. Oh boy, alright. That got scary. It did get scary. But there is a, uh, a balancing act you have to perform when you're working on the controls like that. And I feel like this one is a little bit too far in the slidey direction. Oh, I got hit by a gumball and died? <sighs> Alright. <laughs> yeah, like... <laughs> in, um... In this game, like, I can start running, and then in the air, if I press the back button, I don't actually, like, stop. See? I was, like, still moving one direction a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's really, really kind of awkward. Ah. Uh, but when I hit that button, when I hit my glide button in the air, it completely resets it and I just go flying. So it's it's really, it's kind of hard to wrap my brain around these physics. Alright. Yeah, there was a time I spent a lot of time on the uh, Sonic, the physics section of the uh, Sonic fan game wiki. That I was actually looking up like formulas and stuff. Of really? How Sonic moved. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I learned I learned an awful lot about how Sonic controls. <laughs> there's like I don't remember all of it, but there's like stuff you can do. I think like in Sonic 3, when you flashed, you lost your control over Sonic in midair. Oh hey, that's cool. Yeah, so, like, you could... Sonic was, like, very... You could turn around in midair mm -hmm. until you flashed, and then you just kind of got stuck doing that. Hmm. I had, I had no idea that even worked that way. That's crazy. Yeah. By the way, real... Oh, real quick, I just wanted... <laughs> there's one one thing I wanted to uh -huh. touch on right there. This is a really big, like, thing, and I see it a lot, of, a lot of times in earlier games, because we didn't know any better, but, like... Um, uh -huh. I still see this every once and again. Um, <laughs> where... Whoa! Oh! <laughs> I stepped on thumbtacks. That sucks. Yeah. But, like, where, yeah. where you, like... We have, like, th certain things, like aliens. We identify the aliens as bad guys. We have uh -huh. things like t-shirts and yarn balls that we identify as good things. Uh -huh. And then, like they kind of switched them up you just like fought a boss that was alien yarn or yeah that was yarn so like immediately yeah. i could tell that the first time that you died it was like because you had anticipated it being like a good thing is this like is this good yarn is this like I, it kind of seemed like it was boss fight time yeah. but i was also like is yarn i'm supposed to grab the yarn like i yeah, yeah so like that that's like a that's like a huge that's a pet peeve of mine for for video games is when when you have like when you 
have something that you think is supposed to be like something you want to collect or power up and then have it be something that kills you. Yeah, um, it goes, the, the there's this whole concept of like a visual language that games have. And whether you realize it or not, everything in the game either does or does not conform to that visual language. And that is really what makes something a success or not, is because when you're... Oh, there was a checkpoint right here. Mm -hmm. Wish I'd gotten that before. Yeah, really. But yeah, when you when things in the game have a consistent visual language, then you understand what's going on without having to be told about it. But when things defy that visual language, like when you've got yarn balls being bad, then the player the player gets punished for something that they weren't expecting. They feel like the game betrayed them as opposed to failing because they felt like they didn't perform the task correctly or they weren't skillful enough. Yeah. At it. Oh, passcodes. Passcodes. Dude, we're in Fair chapter condition. four already? Yeah. Oh. That's that's jarring. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. It's fair time. There's a big roller coaster behind me or something. Oh, these guys got different heads, I wonder. Uh are they gonna do something? No? There's just they got goofy hair. Okay. I mean, sure. <laughs> it's a free country. You can have crazy hair if you want to. Also, now we've got like <laughs> now we've got like ice cream bad guys and stuff. Yeah, like I don't know. And going going back to your visual theme, like when is ice cream ever depicted as a bad thing? I know, right? Like this just doesn't make any sense. Black t-shirt. Is that good? Okay. So the black t-shirt is good and makes me invincible for a short period of time. That's cool. What? What the hell is this? Seriously, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> what? <I> just... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> it was... Oh my god. Yeah, I don't even know what to do with that. I... Oh. It's like a strongman banana... Banana butt? Like, yeah, I, don't I don't know. Oh, I can stick my hand- oh, oh, God! I can stick my hands up in the roller coaster That's cool. to collect the yarns. This is something I don't get. There's a shoe here. Whenever I step on the shoes, I go flying. Cause I don't really get cause, the connection to the shoes. Because you're supposed to kick cats. That's why. That's not nice. No, oh, no, it's like the car mean... that's like a cartoon trope. But that's a that's actually a oh. thing. You kick the cats, you boot them out of the house. Oh, game over. That sucks. Well, that's cool because we're about up on time anyway. <laughs> we are about up on time. So what are we uh what are we calling with this one? I'd call this one like a like a six. Six? Yeah. <laughs> I would I would also call this a six. It's, tonight it's not Tonight is a night for ruining my childhood apparently. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> it's not good either. It's not bad. But, like I was saying, the controls, it just feels way too slidey. Like, I appreciate not wanting to just, like, copy Mario or Sonic or Mega Man's controls, like, to a T. Yeah. And, like, trying to make it feel different. But, at the same time, also, please make sure it's fun to play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I... Oh, this guy is... Th this one is one of the ones where, like, the, the beginning is, like, teaching you how, how you're supposed to play this. This is like yeah. one of the game devs. Oh, what the? How was I supposed to know that was gonna happen? Like, is, how am I supposed to know you're that's gonna happen? Honestly, this is one of the, when you step on the box with the banana peel and you go sliding, and then there's a manhole cover, and it's like, this is one of the how am I supposed to know I'm gonna jump there? This is one of the game devs right now, just like telling you or trying not to do everything. Yeah, that or one of the QA testers who played this level three thousand. That no. No, don't ever do that. That's Johnson. That was awful. Yeah, that was really jarring. That was, that was like, seriously, that was so. Oh, my brain couldn't comprehend what was going on. It's a wrinkle on. in my brain. But anyway, so yeah. that one was Bubsy. Yeah, so. Uh, that was Bubsy. It was alright. It was a thing. It's, it was alright. It's trademarked. Bubsy trademark. <laughs> it is trademarked. <laughs> and copyright. Yeah, can't 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 undo that. Alright, so then that's uh, going to wrap us up for today. Next time, we play something else. Catch you guys later.